Welcome back to X-Play. Now, Nintendo was built off of the rivalry between one Italian plumber and the rogue primate who stole his gal. They're back, and we've got them. Here's Mario vs. Donkey Kong 2, March of the Minis. If there is one mustache-sporting pot-bellied guy that's had more jobs than Ron Jeremy, it's definitely our old friend Mario. We're talking about a racer, athlete, dancer, janitor, paper boy. He's also high school guidance counselor, TV VCR repair, computer programming, child daycare, electrician, animal care specialist, auto mechanic, PC repair, bookkeeping, legal assistant. Damn you, Sally Struthers. Get out of my mind. But none of these jobs are what Mario really dreamed of doing. Well, in Mario vs. Donkey Kong 2, Mario finally gets his wish. Meet Mario, the CEO of a successful toy company that manufactures wind-up miniature versions of Mario. We can also add Pip to the resume because instead of having Princess Peach by his side, this time around he has Pauline, the original Donkey Kong damsel in distress. To make a long story short, Pauline gets kidnapped by Donkey Kong, and it's up to the portobello popping plumber to rescue her. Does Mario run out and save her himself? No, he's the CEO now. Let the underlings do it. In this case, Mario makes his wind-up miniatures do the job. Coincidentally, this is exactly what I did back in 1998. Work, my little minions. Give Papa the life of luxury he so greatly deserves. In this Lemmings-esque puzzler, it's up to you to control your mindless Mario-like minions through the stroke of your stylus, with the goal being to guide as many minions as possible to the exit gate. You'll also be rotating pipes, pushing buttons, and placing blocks throughout 80-plus vivid and vibrant levels, all for the safety of your minis. Wait! Mario is a ruthless executive now. What does he care? The only reason he's saving his robotic replicas is to use them for ammo against Donkey Kong boss battle. Unfortunately, your brawl with the Mad Monkey features some of the worst moments of the game. The mechanics just don't work that well. Now go, my minions! It's time for that boss battle known as the world. Destroy cultural landmarks. My Sessler bots will know no pain. They know no fear. They are unstoppable instruments of my will. All shall bow before me and despair! Aside from the boss battles, the mechanics work great with the stylus. The only problems we encounter are when two of your mustache minions touch each other. This causes them to turn around and go in the opposite direction. Overall, the game is addictive. New elements are always being unveiled, and the replay value is extensive due to the unlockable minigames and the irresistible urge to score higher medals. We give Mario vs. Donkey Kong 2 March of the Minis a 4 out of 5. It is the end game. The world is mine. What's that? A Morgan bot? Retreat, my metal minions. You may have bested me this day, Morgan, but I shall return stronger than ever.